From the home page to access the assessor's dashboard, you can either use the tab at the top of the page or the green tab at the bottom of the page. When the assessor's home page is loaded, the information that is displayed is the apprentice's name. It also gives you the information where the apprentice works and it will tell you when the apprentice last logged in. If the login is showing that there's no date next to it and an apprentice tells you that they have logged in and the, but there's no date there, then unfortunately they've not logged onto the system. So that's a good way to check whether your apprentices are actually using the system or not. At the left hand side of the dashboard, there is the option for the apprentice to upload a photograph of themselves. They are the only people that can do this, the assessor can't do this for them. At this side here of the photograph, you have a traffic light system. The traffic light system only comes into place when the progress bar, which is the blue bar over here, reaches 25%. For the first 25% of the program, the apprentice is not traffic lighted on this system here. Um, as they need to spend time getting to know their job role and building up and developing their skills. The traffic light system works in the following way. If the progress bar is set at, say for example, 50% and the learner is at 30%, then the traffic light will be on a red. If the traffic light is on amber, um, then that means that the learner's progress is within a 10% range of the blue progress bar. So if it was 50%, then the learner is between 40% and 60% on their progress. That's when that's amber. When the traffic light is dark green, that means that the learner is over 10% more than what their progress bar tells them. You also have some other icons just here. You've got a speech bubble. Now this can either be red or green. And what this indicates is that you've set an action for your apprentice. So if you ask your apprentice to do something in preparation for a session, or you've asked them to bring something along for a session, then you can set them an action and an action would be highlighted on here so that you can identify. If you hover over that speech mark, it will let you know what the action is. If the speech mark is green, then that indicates that no action has been set. The next icon is a little calendar and that's what you use for a shortcut to add a new session. So you would just click through there and that would book a session for you. Your next icon is an envelope which indicates to send an email. If you wish to send an email to your learner, you can just click on this and that will send, type in your information and it will send an email. Now what that will do is it will also copy the assessor into the email and you will actually receive that in your inbox as well. All emails that are sent through this icon are also logged in the contact diary so you do have a log of all the emails that you have sent any apprentice. Your next icon is for ALS so if any of your apprentices have an ALS requirement you can log all the additional support that you were given them um, by clicking through on this link. And then the final link is the contact diary. If you make contact with your student that is not face-to-face -face or it isn't a planned session, then you can log that contact in there. So if you, for example, were to receive an email or a text from an apprentice to advise that they couldn't keep an appointment, then you would log that into there. Or if you needed to speak to a manager to make an appointment, again, you can log those details on there. The progress bar. The blue line indicates the progress, the course duration. If you hover over that, it will let you know the start date and the end date. The orange bar is how much evidence has been gathered throughout the whole qualification. And the green bar indicates how much has been signed off as complete. There's also an empty box here, which you can add comments. So on this example here, we can see that this apprentice now works Thursday, Friday and Saturday. Once you type your comments in, as little reminders for yourself, you just need to click on save comments and then that will save those comments for you.